Logic 11 just came out and there's a lot of cool stuff. Let's check out how well the new stuff works. My name's Robert and in this video we'll explore Logic's new stem splitting feature that allows you to take a finished piece of music and separate the different instruments and vocals into stems. What are stems, you may ask? Well, stems are a bunch of individual tracks that have been grouped together, usually by instrument. Logic's stem splitter allows you to separate a master audio file into four stems. Vocals, drums, bass, and other. The first three are pretty self-explanatory, and the fourth will just contain everything else, I guess. Let's take a look. Here we have the master file of Making You Believe by Alexine. It's a big gospel R&B tune with a pretty dense arrangement. Let's listen to a clip of the chorus. Nice. Now to separate the audio into stems, start by selecting the track and go up to functions and then select stem splitter. Here you can select which stems you want to pull from the audio. For this demonstration, we'll do all four and then just hit split. Before we move on, I just want to point out how Logic mutes the original track region for you and creates a track stack and puts all of your stems inside. It's a real classy move. Okay, so here we have it. Four nice and neat stereo tracks. Let's start by listening to the bass. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great, but don't get too excited. I forgot that this song has a bass intro, so of course it's going to sound good and super clean. Uh, let's actually start at the chorus. So it's kind of fuzzy and lo-fi. There's, you know, not a lot of fidelity to it, but I guess everything's there. This would be an amazing tool for transcribing and learning parts or making your own remixes. Let's check out the drums next. You know what, this is not bad. This is not bad. The drums themselves are pretty solid. The cymbals, however, are a little weak, but I feel that's just pretty typical for this type of tech. It's really noticeable even when the cymbals are isolated. Check this out. Honestly, I haven't heard a stem splitter that gets the high frequency separation super clean. And I'm guessing that most of that high end is going to get saved for the vocals. So let's listen to those next. No, I said you're the one. I shouldn't be playing at love. And I'm sorry. For making you believe me Oh, I'm sorry Nice. Okay, I'm guessing that this is going to be the cleanest stem. And the big thing that I do notice is that the stem separator cuts the ambience on the vocal. I wonder if that's going to end up on our other stem. And the background vocal choir comes through very clear. However, I'd love to see an option to eventually separate lead and background vocals. But I suppose that would be a much more in-depth process. But chances are we're going to get there someday. I have tested this sort of tech before on the channel, and while I think that some of the other applications do have a more in-depth capability, I think that for what it is, it just makes sense for a tool like this to be in Logic or whatever DAW you use, so it's just another tool like time and pitch adjustment. So I was pleasantly surprised to see this added to Logic 11, and I'm interested to see where it goes from here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to check out the other stem. So 
yeah, this is going to be most of the harmonic content, piano, organ, guitar, anything like that that's taking up most of the mid-range. Actually, I think this one might sound even better than the vocal stem, probably because that's where the rest of the ambience ended up. Before we try the stem separator out on another song, let's compare the original master track to the split stems. We'll do a blind taste. We'll do a, a blind uh, A/B test. Ready? Do you have your uh, Do you have your ears? Get your listening ears on, and let me know which you think is which in the comments. Here we go. And I'm sorry for making you believe me. Oh, I'm sorry for breaking your. So for that test, A was the separated out stems and B was the original master audio file. I'd be hard pressed to find a difference, but we might as well try inverting the polarity of the master file to see if we can get a perfect phase cancellation. By using a gain plugin to invert the left and right channels of my master audio file, it should work against the stems we've created and cancel out everything they have in common, leaving us listening to the difference between the raw file and the separated stems. Let's test it out. No regard for what comes next. And I'm so So I'd say that's pretty close to getting perfect cancellation. I figured that if one of the stems sounded a little funny or phasey, that that part of its essence or ambience ended up on another track, but that overall, all the information present in the master file would be split between the four tracks. Well, let's see if that extends to our second example. This is more of a rock song. It's called I'll Be Okay by North River Revival. It's got a cool drum solo going into the last chorus. Let's have a listen. I'll never change. This tune has a lot of different guitar, percussion, and vocal layers, so it'll be interesting to see how well they're split up across the four stems. Just like before, I'm selecting the track, going down to functions in the top left of the screen, and selecting stem splitter from the drop down menu. And click split. Let's start with the vocals this time. I'll never change, I'll stay the same. Don't know where I'll go, but I know that I'll be okay. Make my escape, live without a trace. Don't know where I'll go, but I know that I'll be okay. I'll take my chances, just let me spin my wheels. I crave that feel, one late night to chase what's real. Overall, again, not bad. The performance is there, and the BG parts are actually pretty solid, but the ambience and some of the effects sounds like they've gone through a 2020 Zoom call. All right, how about the drums? I like that. I hear lots of percussion layers. We're getting tambourine and cowbell alongside the drum kit. And just like last time, you know, the drums sound like drums. They're nice and punchy, but the cymbals sound a little washy. <laughs> but man, that china still cuts though. Okay, onto the bass. Bit 
bit of a rough start, but that's actually pretty solid. It's better, it's deeper, it's thicker than last time. Actually, let's combine the bass and drum stem and see how they gel. Not bad. The cymbal wash still kind of has a weird pulsing effect. I'm wondering if there's some extra ambience that's found its way into the other stem. Let's check that out. <laughs> So the first thing I noticed was a bit of the cowbell bleeding into this track. Again, there's that weird phase effect that takes the clarity of the guitar for a ride. And I would bet that that'd be connected to what's going on with the drums. So let's solo those together. It sounds a bit more coherent, but I'm running into the same issue. Do you hear how wherever there would be a vocal line, you can hear that phase effect come in? As if the vocal is taking priority over some of that share of the frequency content. Okay, let's add that in now. Well, that's much better. It sounds like all the information is present. It's just gerrymandered in a very, very specific way. Hang on, what's here in this vocal stem? Well, that's a guitar dive bomb that I did a pan sweep on. That should be in the other stem, right? That's so weird. How awesome would it be if you could tell Logic that this selection should belong in another stem? I wonder why it ended up in the vocal stem. It does kind of have like a cry quality to it. Okay, moving on. So now let's do the, the stem splitter taste test. Same rules as before. A, B, choose which is which. Last chance to prove how good your ears are in the comments, because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal the answers. So lock in yours below right now. A was the original audio, and B was the separated one. Now, once again, let's do a polarity test, and we'll check how much of the track phase cancels out on itself. <laughs> It's not as clean as last time, but still a great deal of cancellation. This implies that all of your audio is making its way into each of the four stems with minimal distortion or artifacting. If one of the stems seems a little weird in solo, it's because one of the other stems has stolen a bit of its mojo. Oh, that rhymes, that's cool.
I'd love to see how this develops and if we're going to get more controls to adjust or tune the separation process, or if we'll be able to separate a few of these stems further into lead and background vocals or piano and guitar. I know there's a lot of overlap between those elements and that can make it really difficult to separate. And that's why a lot of the harmonic content and mid-range and extra reverb just ends up on the other stem. But I just think this is a great feature to add to Logic, and I want to hear your thoughts about it. Are you a Logic user who's stoked about the new update? Do you want me to explore the other new features? Are you upset the stem separator is Apple silicone only? Let me know in the comments. It really helps me know if you enjoy this content and if you'd like to see more of it or not. Thank you for watching. And if you have a song you'd like mixed, get in touch with the link in the description. Let's schedule a call and figure out how to get you the mixes you need so that you can focus on creating your best possible music. Thanks again for watching and happy stem splitting.